Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts, guys. We are a few minutes away before Supergirl Season 2, Episode 15, I believe, entitled Exodus is Upon Us. Last week's episode was phenomenal. The return to Dean Kane as Jeremiah. It was really cool to see him back. They teased it in the promo before the episode last week aired that uh, he may be working for Cadmus. He may turn, and he actually did ultimately turn, but it was still a great episode to watch. I can't wait to see what happens in this episode. Uh, I will let you guys know now that I do have a slight headache, and it is really annoying. I took my Madison for it, but it's not kicking in just yet. So if my uh, mood and my reaction throughout this episode is kind of down a little bit, then you know why I hate being sick, but it is what it is. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into now. Let's go, guys. Maybe Jeremiah taught them how to avoid our radar? No, on Jeremiah Danvers is an enemy combatant. What does that mean? It yep. If found, is to be arrested on site. Awkward. That's not a problem, is it? Awesome. It's a problem. Good. Oh shit! It scared me. Well, that's not conspicuous at all. Like, yeah, we're just gonna walk in and cause an explosion. Oh! Yeah, she's fighting. Yeah, this is probably not the best spot to go after aliens because we got a couple of fighters in here. Oh, no, not the spray can, dude. Not him, too. Everything I've tried has led to nothing. And if they hurt her, your father. I'm sorry, but he's just shot. Jesus. Getting, hey, uh, getting deep in here. Jesus. If you say it. Oh! Yeah, this is this is not good. Alex, Alex, calm down. Simmer down, simmer down a little bit, Alex. You're Jesus, Alex. Come on. Oh! Holy shit! How to get in there? I'm gonna trust you. Yes, I, I will help. Oh! Sean. Fuck! Are you kidding me? You were testing me. That was a. Sh that's a shit move. It's a shit move, man. Mm. Shit move. Cyborg Superman, yeah, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> I get overly excited because that's Superman, and now he's Cyborg Superman. It's a big ass ship. Jesus. That is ridiculous. That's a huge fucking ship. Fake cop. Officer, I think that man needs help. Oh! Vigilante style. Vigilante style. <laughs> nice. Oh, the fiance. Well, future fiance for uh, for Batwoman is using an alien gun. <laughs> Oh. But to say, are you are you are you telling her to kill your daughter? Jesus! But no, you're not doing that. <laughs> oh, I love badass Alex. Damn it! What? She's with me. What? Wait, is Jeremiah actually good? Because that's what we're hoping that he's actually good. You know what I mean? So if he is, and this is 
a tr a, even even though that wasn't really him talking to her earlier, it, it'd be really cool to see like, oh, by the way, yeah, I did all this shit to fuck you up, Cadmus. All the big ruse. Oh, shit! Oh, no! You weren't supposed to do that. Oh, I knew it. Yeah, I kind of knew she wasn't going to die, but I was like, what? They were told not to. Jesus. She wasn't playing. Come on, Jeremiah. Come on. Come on, Jeremiah. Don't make the wrong decision. Yes. 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 This would be a crazy twist if she actually doesn't succeed. Like, she, she's sent on the ship, they gotta go find her in space. See how big the thing is? Damn! Oh! Oh! Cyborg Superman versus Cyborg Superman! That's a lot to say in the... Okay, let's go! Come on! Damn. Oh! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh! Man, if he would have had that, that would have been awesome. This is not good. Superman, where are you? Oh my god, are you kidding me? She's going to fail? No. Come on. Come on, Kara. Come on, Kara, come on. Come on! Oh my god, this is... Jesus Christ! Jesus. What? Oh, it's the two mystery people, right? Oh, shit, what? Yes, there's something about this place. Wow. Yep. But who are they? That's the question. Who are they? Wait, I just had a theory. Wait, I had a theory. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, what if that's Monel's parents? Well, there you have it, guys. Supergirl Season 2, Episode 15, I believe, Exodus. Um, so, yeah, at the very end of the episode, the last thing we saw was we finally got to see who the two aliens were that was hunting Mon-El and just killing everybody on their way, even though I think they killed, like, maybe, like, one person. But still, they were on a hunt, and they finally found him. Well, they're this close to getting him. And I was saying there, right before I cut to this video, which I film after the episode's done, what if that's his parents? I think so. I think so. I don't know. Um, but it seems so, because why would this older woman and older man searching for Mon-El? Hmm? Hmm? Because I think it's his parents, and they're, they're trying to find him, and they finally have found him. And it's not going to end well. Uh, it's definitely not going to end well. Um, the scene where it was fake Jeremiah, because it actually was uh, 
Martian Manhunter pretending to be Jeremiah to try to fool Alex. Uh, she forgave him in the episode. Still a dick move. Still a dick move because all like yes, she's supposed to. She does care about all the aliens being taken, but it's her dad that she hasn't been with in forever. And you want to act like, okay, well, she'll be fine. No, she's not going to be fine. And what you did was really, really just hurt her to her core. I'm surprised she forgave him, honestly, in this episode. I would have been perfectly fine if she would not have forgiven him in this episode for what he did. Um, then Jeremiah, he actually turned on Cadmus, but unfortunately... He's still with Cadmus. I was just thinking like, okay, well, are they going to explain what happened? Because last thing we saw was he was knocked out by the other sidebar Superman, Hank Henshaw, the real Hank Henshaw, uh, with his laser eyes, whatever you want to call them. And that was it. And we don't know what has happened. But uh, the scene with the humongous ship and Supergirl putting so much of her strength trying to stop it while it was actually, in, it was basically in space at the point. I was like thinking for a brief moment, and it's probably it's probably going to be shown in my reaction, where I really thought she was not going to be able to do it. And like, are you kidding me? She can't. Like, she's actually going to let the ship go. Can you imagine if the ship would have been sent across space? They would have had to go find her and find the ship. I mean, that'd have been a crazy storyline. I don't know if they'd be able to pull it off in terms of budget, but it'd have been fantastic if they would have did that. But it, it you know. It is what it is. Uh, there was a moment where I mentioned, and I'm going to put it in my reaction. There's a moment where I mentioned uh, some kind of stupid shows on right now. I'm like, like people are like doing some kind of weird movements. It's whatever's airing after Supergirl. Anyways, um, there's a moment where I say in my reaction that uh, the future fiance, slat, the future wife, the future girlfriend of Batwoman, which in the comics, Batwoman's fiance and girlfriend is Maggie Sawyer. Uh, like the, the, the future girlfriend fiance of, uh, Batwoman is holding a alien pistol, uh, which was Maggie Sawyer. And I know people are probably going to get mad and say, no, she's with Alex. Like I get it. But as a comic book fan, she's supposed to be with Batwoman, which if you know anything about me, Bat family all the way Bat, you got Batman top tier and then everybody else in the Bat family is the lower tier, but I love everything involved with that. And with the rumors forever ago that Batwoman could possibly appear on this show, including Oracle, which I don't know if it's going to happen. I don't think so. But it would be really cool. Uh, then it would tie in with the comics. It would suck because Alex and Maggie would have to break up because Batwoman shows up on the show and she's appearing in the universe. I get it, but it's comics. I get it. But anyways, uh, I really enjoyed this episode. Lots of good stuff. Um, lots of cool twists and turns. Uh, just to see that Lena is still going against Cadmus, going against her mother, which is good. Uh, because that means that she's not going to completely flip. Uh, but I think ultimately, Lena's end game, unfortunately, in my personal opinion, will be she's going to turn evil. That's my personal opinion, but I could be wrong. I've been wrong about things before. I know. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. That's my reaction. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this episode. Thank you so much for watching my reaction, guys. Peace out.